the National Aeronautical and Space Administration was created on 29 July 1958 when Dwight D. Eisenhower was President of the United States. They had to create a space agency because they found out for certain that the Earth was flat and stationary. Certain events put into motion the formation of NASA and other space agencies because of Admiral Richard E. Byrd's expedition to Antarctica and the International Geophysical Year 1957-1958. All the governments of the world were at a loss because they didn't know what to do. They collectively took the decision to deceive the world, then tell the truth. Contrary to popular belief, the United States and Russia, or rather the USSR, were never in a space race. After the death of Stalin, the United States government invited the USSR to participate in the International Geophysical Year 1957-1958. And don't forget, it was during this time that the USSR became the first country in history to fake space. They claimed that they sent a satellite to space, the Sputnik 1. This is a picture of Sputnik 1. Do you really think that a metal sphere with antennas sticking out of it would orbit the Earth? Just three years after the formation of NASA, the new President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, made a famous speech where he said that the United States will put men on the moon before the decade is out. That was a bold claim to make. NASA's Project Mercury claimed to have put the first Americans in space. The problem here is that outer space, outer space is fake, and they knew that. NASA's Gemini program was the precursor to the Apollo program that was to come later. They claimed to have sent men in a spaceship that orbited the Earth. NASA's Mariner program supposedly sent probes to Venus, Mercury and later Mars. The problem is that there are no planets the way they taught us at school. Planets are not terra firma, meaning one cannot land on it and then grow potatoes. Then on July 16, 1969, NASA and the United States government perpetrated the biggest hoax in history. They claimed to have sent three men to the moon 238,000 miles away in the vacuum of space where navigation and space travel is impossible. Then they orbited the moon in a tin can, then landed on the surface of the moon, took some photographs, then returned safely back to Earth. I mean, seriously? In the 1970s, NASA claimed to have built a space station named Skylab. Their purpose was to test human endurance in space. The problem here is that they told us that there is no up and down in space due to the lack of gravity. So it would be impossible for human beings to eat and drink in space. 
This is because food and drink will not go down to the stomach and they will be pissing and shitting through their mouth. Many billions of people are not aware that NASA commissions TV and movie production companies to produce NASA propaganda. One of these propaganda is the Bermuda Triangle. This is an area in the Caribbean Sea where the United States Navy retrieves the rockets blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Another NASA PSYOP is the alien deception. They are responsible for topics such as Roswell, Area 51, alien abduction, etc, etc, etc. Aliens do not exist and outer space is fake. On April 12, 1981, NASA's space shuttle program blasted off with Columbia. I watched this event live on TV and at the time I was very proud to be a human being. Then later on in my life, my world shattered and my world flattened when I found out that the Challenger disaster astronauts are all alive. I realized that everything about space is a lie. And now the creme de la creme of NASA PSYOPs, the International Space Station or the ISS. There are so many things wrong with the ISS. VR glitches, green screen CGI, bouncing bungee ropes, bubbles in space, astronauts disappearing into thin air. Also, what's wrong with the picture on, on the screen of the cupola of the ISS? I will give you a few seconds to have a good look and think. Anything? Well, first of all, it's made of glass. They told us that space is a very dangerous environment with micrometeorites bombarding the space station. So this would be impossible. Also on this pic, the right side of the window is showing the clouds in black and white. Did they forget to color in the clouds or did they run out of budget? Normal people will never understand why government and the agencies spent billions of dollars in deceiving people. I on the, on the other hand am very privileged to know the reason why. And in conclusion I will say that the earth is a special and beautiful creation. It's built especially for us. If only humanity realized this. Thing. Thank you.